on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Uh, Master Jiraiya, do you really think this is a good idea? Of course, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Besides, your mom is out hanging out with her friends, and this is one of the times where I can actually teach you something about life. But sneaking into the girl's side of the bath? What? Isn't that kind of immoral? Oh. Izuku, Izuku, Izuku. How can you be so naive? Think about it. Imagine all the cup sizes, I mean, uh, other forms you will have to be able to learn through observation. Right now, yes, you are a perfect gender bent version of yourself, and I as myself as well. But imagine the bountiful garden of <clears throat> research material. He's like, okay, you got to kind of sus right now, but, um, okay, well, I, I can see your uh, logic. I knew you were a smart one. As yes, they transform and they go in. Izuku is beyond embarrassed, just trying to shield his eyes while Jiraiya is pretty much trying to keep his eyes from bulging out his sockets. As yes, he's trying to get Izuku to come on. This, this is a one lifetime opportunity. Do you know how many men would love to be in our shoes right about now? Um. Uh, I can't imagine, but I, I, um, it's all right. It's, it's, it's fine. He's so good. I understand. But I must say this. Grow up hair. But isn't this wrong? No, no, of course not. It's, um, like I said, research. Yeah, yeah, research. But it seems very per. It, it may seem that way to some, but you must realize it. These women, they love. Attention and whatnot. Sometimes, you know, they they love to be admired for their beauty. So it would be rude for us not to enjoy it, don't you think? Uh, but if that's true, why are we shielding ourselves between you know, the transformations you two? Because they'll curse up our asses. Exactly. And now you know. You wouldn't want to get hurt now, would you? Uh, no, no, not at all. Exactly. Now, now you understand. As long as we keep this straight up, we don't have to worry about getting hurt. We don't have to worry about... The authorities. What? Well, technically, it is illegal. <clears throat> but yes, this is awful training, boy. And yes, he continue. Izuku is finally catching an eyeful. Him still a little bit trying not to stare. But then he's, he gets a glimpse of something like, oh no. No, 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 no. No, as then he runs and sees dry. He's like, Sensei, we need to leave. But why? Come on, just get to the good part. No, my mom is here. Huh? 
as Jiraiya looks and he's like, fuck, 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 no, 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 oh, oh dear lord, uh, she, <laughs> it's bad enough if they find us, yes, we're dead, but if your mother finds us, death would be a mercy. Uh, okay, we just gotta slowly sneak out. How how good are you changing your hair color? I, I never re really practiced. I don't worry. Um, I'll just uh, run. As yes, Jiraiya runs away, leaving his review in the dust. But this causes a commotion in which. All the women, including Inko, turn their heads and see this woman running away from this green-haired girl. No. As Izuku feels a murderous presence start to approach him, he tries to slowly walk away just to feel a shoulder, <laughs> a shouldering of coldness. <laughs> he turns, he, he sees a hand, and it starts to squeeze a tire on his shoulder. <laughs> then he looks and sees a demon <laughs> that used to be his mother. Where is he? Huh? Where is Jiraiya? Tell me now. And I won't punish you as harshly as I will punish him. He went that way! Thank you. Her just walking, and there could be herds of slaps, bones cracking, as well as tiles and ceramic being broken and shattered. You know, normal stuff when it comes to anime, as well as screaming and begging for mercy. As yes, there is Jiraiya, untransformed, girls are screaming, then Ingo just, come here, young Midoriya, do I, wait, Ingo, do, do you know this, he's like, oh yeah, don't worry about it, as yes, she drags Jiraiya and pulls Izuku. He's still transformed by the ear outside of the hot spring bath. And uh, if anything, Izuku does get hurt. But what's worse for him is being scolded by his mother. Jiraiya's like, that's all he gets? That's the only punishment he gets is a slap and a scolding? Look what you did to me! <laughs> this was your idea, wasn't it? Uh, I had a feeling you would try to corrupt my son. Maybe I sh should have just finished you off when I had a chance. Uh, <clears throat> um, uh, um, damn, what was I thinking teaching her? Ah! Man, I'm an idiot. As yes. Now, we cut to the beginning of the anime. Everyone knows Izuku has been training and whatnot. He doesn't really show off when it comes to his chakra, but when he does, at least let people know about it. Uh, they don't laugh. Bakugo still thinks he's the best, so he tries to take on Izuku. It fails. But, luckily for him, Izuku is humble. And he's more than willing to share and spread the humbleness. Uh, huh. So... Gamadoria, you want to attend UA as well? Yes. Bogo being battered and bruised. Please don't. Yeah. 
stop me. Go ahead, go ahead. I, I, I would love for you to try to stop me. <clears throat> okay. I'm sorry. What? Him hearing this from you, Bargo was like, well, No! Uh uh! You can't do that! What? No, you, you, you can't do that! You're. This, this, is, this is not where your redemption starts! We still have. Uh, moments, parts, that still need to be told before your redemption! At least, before you can even attempt to be redeemed! In anyone's eyes! You are not pulling that shit! Uh, what? <clears throat> sorry. I, I am very sorry. I know what came over me. <sighs> I accept your apology. Izuku walking out of class. It's over and everything. Now for, for Sludge Villain. Izuku can already know. It's like, okay, something's wrong here. As soon as Sludge Villain attacks, Izuku traps it. Is let me out of here. No. Why were you attacking me? I need a hostage. I'm sorry. Hmm. Are you really sorry? Yes. Hmm. Is this good? Like, yeah, I don't believe you. Let's see what if there's a hero that was chasing you. As All my appears, Izuku, he, uh, he's like, okay, that's interesting. Him getting an autograph still, but he's like, not freaking out. Hmm. Interesting. As now, for 10 months, it's pretty much supervised training after the, that little stunt they pulled at the public bath. Izuku still apologetic. Jiraiya was like, stop being a little, stop, stop being a little pussy. <clears throat> if you're not careful, I'm going to turn you into one. <gasps> Izuku, he's surprised how much Inko has changed. At first, she was just a sweet, loving mother figure, her best mom and everything. But now she's turned angry. Uh, violent. A, and again, she has been spending time with one Mitsuki Bakugo as well as the training. So, uh, things tend to happen. When it comes to Izuku's golems, they do increase in size to the point where, yeah, if he can summon an army, it's an army. But not so much when it comes to his, mm, the chakra pool he has. Though it is a lot more vast than it was before, it's nothing compared to that of Sasuke, Naruto, El Jiraiya. But however, he knows this way enough determination. He can not only be just as powerful as All Might, he can also far surpass him. He just needs more determination, more hard work, less per pervy instructions. Inko's words, not mine. But there's something off when it comes to the whole interest of Sam. Though, yeah, the practical, it was particularly easy. Izuku was able to just skewer each and every robot that came in his way. He notices an abnormality. When he looks up to the observation room, he's staring right at All Might. And all the other teachers in Izzy were looking. What's he planning? 
There's the ooze. Okay, let's see if I can just stretch him from the center or whatnot. Pushes the button, zero point shows up. No one really gets trapped, but Izuku's monster's like, okay. I know this is going to be worth any points, but I at least got to show them how powerful I am. Him not using any jutsus, him not using anything but his strength. Enhanced with whatever chakra he had in his reserves. And with one mighty punch, he destroys the Zero Warrior. All Might is amazed at this. Wondering, wait, how do you do that? Because of Nezu, what's his quirk? Oh, it says here he doesn't have one. That's impossible. I mean, maybe he hasn't technically registered his quirk. If anything, weird things have happened. Really? You saw him summon stone spikes and skewer robots. He destroyed the zero portal with one punch. And this supposed to not be a quirk? Oh, come on. Oh, you can always test the theory. Okay, how? Me. Me! Seriously, did you forget I can erase quirks? Oh, there are some quirks that are harder to erase than others, but still! I, I'm not so sure I... What, what would be our excuse? Mm. Say it's a extra credit or whatnot. If anything, he may want to get into UA so bad that he'll believe it. As soon as we do test him, as all his eyes are wide open, there's no dust coming. His eyes are flaring up. His hair is floating. As Yes, Izuku performs amazing feats of strength as well as chakra control and all the like. Making Aizou actually terrified. All Might even more so, seeing that yeah, his quirk is active, but so this isn't a quirk, what is it? How is he able to get this power without a quirk? Anyway, he passes. First place when it comes to the theoretical exam. Uh, he didn't really have, he, he got a C considering that uh, Jiraiya did want him to go out on the town and try to pick up girls, but Izuku had to deal with his constant, like, come on, man, pretend you're my son or grandson. Be my wingman, man. Come on, just help me out. Yeah, he's just gonna have to deal with that a lot. First day of UA, no, similar to Ken, except Bakugo, where he does it, so you tell him to put it down on his feet, he does. Izuku being able to humbleize him, he, he's, uh, I don't know how many more people around here are powerhouses, so Bakugo's being more cautious. Once it comes to the quirk assessment test, Izuku, yeah, though he technically had a quirk, he still wishes to participate and does. He blows pretty much everyone out of the water except Oraka, who got infinity. But so then, Bakugo, seeing how far behind he is for Izuku, he doesn't know what to do with himself. All this time, he's been. <sighs> I thought I was a strong one. I thought I would be the main character, but I'm being surpassed by Deku of all people. I'm getting flashbacks to when they were kids and everything is fine and peachy until they started to drift apart. 
all because of quirks and the quirkless. Hmm. Where did I go wrong? Anywho, let's get to the whole locker room. Lynetta is like, uh, okay, now, let's see, looky here, what's over in this direction. Zuku's, no, 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 no. Trust me, they will crucify you. How would you know as a bead of sweat just starts sliding down Yuzuku's face and like, You've done this before. You've, you've been, you're a peeping Tom too. Uh, no, 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 I never peeped at it. Well, where I was actually, uh, I... Confess your sins. You have no right to criticize me. That may be so. But... Sharing is caring. As he does vaguely explain, like, he found a way to actually infiltrate the women's side of the bath. Show me. What? Show me, please. It, no! As Mera just he's going on and on and on, telling Yuzuku to show him how he did it, to the point where Yuzuku actually caves in and transforms into his gender bent version of himself. The only issue is he was in the middle of changing, and the only thing he was wearing is his boxers. So yes. There were a lot of nosebleeds, because as soon as Zuku realized that nothing else is covered except his crotch, it's pretty much him screaming with the highest levels to break glass. Maeda is in a pool of blood from his nosebleed. Kamenari Siro look like they're ready to die, but with smiles on their face. As they are fist bumping each other. Everyone else is just beyond shocked. Ida trying to be the whole uh, tentacle party pooper, but uh, he's helpful when he's needed. It's like, cover your shame! As Bakugo's looking, it's like, uh, uh, uh. No. no, 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 please turn back, T turn yourself into a guy again, this, this, this is getting weird, why can't you be normal, why, why couldn't you just be quirkless, I, I didn't, I, you weren't supposed to be staring, staring, and transforming back. But this is when Midnight burst through the door. Saying, I heard there was a woman in trouble. Her seeing the blood. And then Izuku. And uh, like. Trying to shield himself. Kind of way. The girl said that was. Uh, them just pointing at Izuku. You were the one screaming. Ah. Uh, yeah, you see, there's a reason for that. I'm listening. As he, has, he tries to explain it, but Midnight's like, ha <laughs> very funny. It's like, boys, close your eyes and turn around. What? I'm, I'm about to prove it to her. <laughs> but wait, you gotta be... <clears throat> Fine. This time he actually has a shirt as he shows back. Midnight spitting out her non existent coffee. No, no, no. That is. That is. <sighs> okay. Wow. Modern medicine has changed so much. What? Well, apparently this could be part of your quirk, or 
did you uh, uh, th 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 I I don't know how to deal with this this is I don't think I've seen a transformation quarter like this before I mean you're you're you but also as a girl is that's kind of oh believe me my master told taught me this I was very worried as well but oh well <sighs> Oh, oh, I had the most wonderful dream. Uh, a beautiful emerald haired goddess was smiling upon me with two voluptuous him saying he's like, still transformed. He gets a, another geyser of blood from his nose rushing out. Him's like, take me death. I am no longer afraid. I welcome you. Izuku embarrassed. Midnight. That explains a lot. The girls, upon getting the explanation to what happened, they are torn between hating Izuku for doing that or feeling sorry for the fact that he was exposed in such a way. On one hand, heck, he technically flashed all the guys quickly. Oh, it didn't take. Well, I mean, it wasn't that quick, but it's, yeah, he's going to technically flash the guys. He just didn't expect. He um, forgot <laughs> to put on a shirt. But it also was like. <sighs> it, says, it did have to you as a girl. We may feel sorry for you, but don't do that again. I'm sorry. Don't, don't worry about it. Just please. Promise you'll never do that again. Well, it is part of my training. What? Like, yeah, yeah. Watch this. As then he transforms into Oraka. Then he transforms into Mina, Jiro, El Cero, Shoji. Yeah. Why? I mean, how? As then he transforms into a male version of Oraka, as well as a female version of Kaminari. Them looking like... Psst. Uh... Kaminari is chiming in, is it wrong to find yourself that attractive? Everyone just looking at him like, the fuck you say? Hey, uh, hey, uh, I, um, uh, come on, Cyril, help me out here. You, Cyril's like, dude, dude you, you gotta remember, that's you you're looking at. Is it now? Is it really? Uh, <clears throat> I need some new friends. As Manila's like, Hmm. Can you transform into Midnight? Well, yeah. Midnight hearing this is like, don't you dare. So help me God, I will make your school life a living hell. For all of you. Especially you. you little pint-sized carton of grape juice. Oh, oh, okay, hmm. good, good to know we understand each other, as now it is the heroes versus villains, when it comes to the teens, they are the same, one thing is Oraka, she's actually more confident, especially when it comes to Bakugo and Izuku's rivalry, which can you even really call it that? Seriously. But, Bago, he, the way he is, yes, he is very much so confident in his abilities. He's trained for this. He's gotten somewhat a better hold on his quirk. But the only thing is, when he goes downstairs to face Izuku, 
He's gone. And so is Araka. Ida tries to call. He's like, I've been captured. He's like, what? He's like, your old team wins. Huh? No. No. How? Why? Well, we... what the hell? How do you get so overpowered? I train very hard. It, that's not a legitimate answer. Well, it's the answer I'm giving you. What more do you want from me? <sighs> Bugger just running off. Just no, this this isn't fair. He was always chasing me. He's right directly behind me. But is it there? Is there even a point for me to try to play catch up? As he's a good comes in, does a ya ya ya, inspiring speech. Fire within Bogo has been rekindled. Now, let's get to. The USJ. Izuku can already notice that there are multiple, I do mean multiple presences, so he does advise against the whole, you know, going in there. One thing is, like, 13 is already in there, and the villains go on a rampage. Her being pretty much taken by surprise. They have no choice but to go in there and help and unload the cans of ass robbery that is to be dealt, especially when it comes to my stories. It's not fair, considering that Izuku has a lot more first battle attacks, especially with his earth and wind release. He tries not to kill anyone, definitely. But then he cases them in concrete, so... Uh, they ain't gonna die, but hopefully they don't have, they don't have to go to the bathroom. As then Nomu appears, and Izuku, he's just like, okay, you're different. But how different? What, what, what makes you tick? As he punches the Nomu with some of his strength, which... Let's say he used 15%. It didn't do anything. As he starts an onslaught of punches, trying to wear out the Nomu, after hearing that it was actually an artificial created being, he's like, Oh, heck, I don't need to really hold back anymore, do I? Huh? As then he summons a blade made of pure wind and slices on the Nomu's head. Hiroaki is like, what just happened? While Kori is, yeah, we gotta go. And that's how the USJ ends. When it comes to the whole... Okay. Mr. All Might, we need to talk. Uh, sure, a teacher will always have time for his or her students. Okay, good. What's wrong with you? Uh, uh, huh? What are you talking about? No, there's something off about you. Right around here. I can't place it, but it's almost like... Hmm. Come here. What? What, what are you going to do? Calm down. You can trust me. Izuku just balls up his hand to a fist. All my like, oh man, he's going to hit me. Only he stopped right in the weak spot, debuffing. Luckily, there was no one else around, but he's like, why did you do that? Hmm. Wow. How are you still alive? I'm lucky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I uh, wonder how long till that luck runs out, you know? 
<sighs> At the very least, this will give me a chance to try it. Huh? Yes. I decided to actually try to learn some healing. You may feel uh, some uh, discomfort. As 10 minutes to a whole hour, all my is screaming like he's being tortured. But you know, just tells him, like, don't worry, it's not as bad as you think. Well, your, your prior injury was very bad, but very least I was able to fix it. Huh? Try to use your buff form. But I, I can't. I, I use... Just do it. All my buffing up. He's like, I can. Yep, you can breathe again. You're welcome. He's a good walking off. All my wand to stop him, but he's still too amazed. Like, how is this possible? And then, yes, he's like, Nezu, I need this kid's address. I need to know how he did that. I need to know what the source of his power is. He healed me. I, I, I can't debuff anymore. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, well, yeah. At the very least. I can authorize a home visit. As yes, days turn into weeks and Izuku is ready for the sports festival. Only thing is he's like, okay, how much should I hold back? And he's like Never mind. Screw holding back. I'm. I need to show everyone what I can do, without being a complete other uh, showboat, of course. Because the race, Izuku dominates. Because of the cavalry battle, everyone sees how strong he is. At least in this case, how fast he was. So he actually does get a decent team. Their names are irrelevant for right now. Unless I make them more, more relevant. My counts are fighting Shinzo, Izuku's. Why aren't you talking? Because I am not an idiot. <laughs> Him getting brainwashed. <laughs> As he's about to walk out of this. No, 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 no. No, body, stop. Please, please don't do this. Him. Breaking out of it. His... Whoa, that's kind of like being placed under a genjutsu. What the hell? Shinzo. No. No, 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 no. That, that shouldn't be possible. But. No. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> wait, wait, what are you doing? As yes, Izuku sucks Shinzo right in the face and sends him flying out of the ring. Next up is Izuku versus Toroki, and Izuku does convince him to start using his fireside. The only thing is Izuku wants to be a little salty. He he wants to be a little more of an ass. So what he does, he lifts a large post of the actual arena and Toroki is constantly trying not to fall until he just flips it over and he is out of bounds. Cementos is now I got to rebuild the stage. Great. Just just great. As yes when it comes to the whole Ida Versus Izuku, it still happens. It just happens. Yeah. There's no real excitement there. You know, just tripping because he knows how dangerous Izuku is. But the Bakugo one. Mago wants to prove himself. 
and he feels like this is one of the few chances he's ever going to get. What happens? What? Well, 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 you just got to wait and find out, aren't you? And with that, I am out of here. Farewell. And I look forward to seeing you all again.